the other thing that affects how many pictures you're going to get on a card is the megapixel size of your camera. I'm pretty sure that if I asked you all how many megapixels your camera was, I'd say that at least half of you don't know and probably don't care. And that's okay. To me, I, I want to know that I have a car and I want to get from point A to point B. I don't really care how many cylinders the car has. I just want to know it gets there. And, you know, most people feel that way about the megapixels on their camera. But I do want to explain to you what megapixels are and how they, they kind of fit into the whole picture of your camera. So a megapixel is one million pixels. And a pixel is a picture element. Now, if you want to think of a picture element, it's a teeny, 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 tiny square that holds color information or exposure information. You push down on your shutter, your camera takes the picture, it writes the information, and when it's writing the information, it's writing it in these little teeny, tiny squares of information. Thousands, in fact, millions of them make up a picture. And one million pixels makes one megapixel. Now, the first camera, digital camera that was created was a 1.3 megapixel camera. And that's 1,300,000 pixels. And the reason they chose 1,300,000 pixels is because that many little pixels fit on your typical computer monitor. So what the engineers were creating was a picture, a digital image, that fit perfectly on a computer monitor because this was a digital image for the digital era. However, what they found really quickly is that people, even though this is digital, they still want to print their pictures out. And if you took 1,300,000 pixels and you printed them out, it would give you an image that was smaller than a wallet-sized picture. It couldn't get any bigger without the image losing resolution or becoming pixelated because what would happen to enlarge it is that you had to enlarge those little teeny tiny squares and there just weren't enough of them. And here on this image, what I've done is I've enlarged the top of this teapot and be shown you what a pixelated image looks like. So there wasn't enough information in these squares or there weren't enough of these squares to make a nice picture, even to make a reprint size, a, a three and a half by size five um, image. So there was a lot of pressure really fast for the megapixels to get bumped up. And today, I think that you can't buy a camera uh, less than about seven megapixels. Entry level now is 10 to 12 pixel megapixel cameras. Those cameras give you enough of these pixels that you can have a super sharp, really nice looking uh, 11 by 14, 16 by 20, even 20 or 24 by 24 or poster size image, um, really nice enlargement from those digital cameras. And that is why you want to pay attention to the megapixels, especially if your, your main goal is to print these out and enlarge them. You have to have enough little picture elements in or pixels in your image to make sure that the image doesn't get pixelated. However, the more pixels your camera has, the more storage capacity it's going to take on that card.